So this is fentanyl. It's 10 milligrams right here. They say the lethal dose for a non-tolerant person is two milligrams. So this is enough to overdose five non-tolerant people. For me, this is like one dose. You've had fentanyl in your system every hour of every day for how many years now? Two and a half years. Meet a young man so addicted to fentanyl, he lives, works, and even drives on it. All the time I've been using, I I've only stopped for more than a week, twice. We've disguised his voice and hidden his face, but Jacob, who started using at 15 after he was prescribed hydrocodone for a bad cough, is far from alone. I come from a good family. I work 40 to 50 hours a week. Opioid addiction afflicts more than 2 million Americans. I keep my solution in this, and this is five doses right here. For Jacob, that means carrying a dose at all times and injecting every four or five hours, not to get high, but to avoid withdrawal. After I inject it, it takes about 10 seconds, and then I feel better. When his supply runs out, you may be surprised to find he simply logs online. So this is all my order history right here. And restocks using an Amazon-like shopping service on the dark web. You got heroin, fentanyl, and then your prescription opiates. But federal law enforcement has been cracking down. The biggest site, Alpha Bay, had 3,000 listings for fentanyl. This site is the biggest one right now, has not even 300. It's a massive decrease. Rusty Payne is a spokesperson for the DEA. I mean, we've taken the two biggest dark web drug markets and completely obliterated them. It's been noticed. It has been noticed by this kid, apparently. You can stop the supply, and you're trying to, but what about the people who are already hooked, like him? I'm worried he's going to be dead next week. John Zibble, an opioid expert at RTI International, has a different approach. For the last 40 years, we haven't been able to stem the flow of illicit drugs into the country. Drugs are cheaper, stronger, easier to get than ever before. We met him at a needle exchange in Greensboro, North Carolina. He'd like to help users replace powerful opioids like fentanyl with a milder prescription opioid like buprenorphine, designed to treat addiction by controlling opioid cravings. So people who are currently buying their drugs on an online black market wouldn't have to do it anymore. That's people, right, correct. People who are going to the corner or the alley wouldn't have to do it anymore. That's right. But they're not giving up their dependency. That's right. And, you know, the thing we know about dependency, dependency as such isn't bad, right? I'm physically dependent right now on caffeine, right? And I get headaches. Right? I still drink chaotically. Caffeine. Right, but I don't have to go out in the street and steal and rob for it. It means the promise of a normal life for people like Jacob, just maybe not a drug-free one. Zibel says addicts like him could be on a replacement opioid forever. When society tallies up the toll of the opioid crisis, do you include yourself in those numbers? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was a victim of the pharmaceutical companies, but I'm not going to let myself become an overdose statistic. Tony DeCopel, CBS News, New York.